The Chinese Communist Party wants to dominate the globe and use its armed wing, the PLA, as the tool of coercion in foreign policy. But for all its global ambitions, a tiny island not very far away from China's baseline is haunting Beijing and its defense forces. We're talking about Taiwan, which is separated from China only by a narrow stretch of water called the Taiwan Strait, also known as the Formosa Strait. For its tiny size, Taiwan packs quite a punch with its long-range missiles and air defense system, virtually incapacitating China. As per latest reports, the PLA Air Force was in for another embarrassment on Wednesday when Taiwanese warplanes chased away multiple Chinese Su-30 and J-10 fighter jets that had intruded into Taiwan's air defense identification zone, prompting the Taiwanese Air Force to issue as many as 24 warnings. Taiwan's defense ministry has issued a stern statement following the latest incident. The statement read, what the Chinese communists did not only unilaterally but also seriously violated peace and stability in the region. For this, we gravely condemn their acts. The reason behind the latest Chinese incursion reveals how the Chinese strategic circles have been left befuddled by Taiwan's growing military firepower backed by the United States. Taiwan had got engaged in a live fire exercise involving its arsenal of large range missiles on Wednesday and an unspecified number of missile tests were carried out in the wee hours between 5 a.m. and 7 a.m. by Taiwanese state-funded national Chung Shan Institute of Science and Technology. The type of missiles that were test fired is not clear and according to South China Morning Post, their altitude was described as limitless in the notice. But local military experts have reportedly figured out that they could be long-range surface-to-air missiles, long-range supersonic cruise missiles and anti-ship cruise missiles. China was, of course, perplexed because these missile systems thwart its non-contact warfare and naval domination ambitions across the 166 islands that the Taiwanese government controls in the South China Sea. Taiwanese media reports also speculated that Chinese warplanes intruded into the island state's air defense identification zone because they wanted to gather intelligence about the latest weapons test. This implies that China is rattled about Taiwan's aggressive military expansion plans. China has a reason to be all the more worried because Taiwan is planning to conduct more such weapon tests of its southern, eastern and northeastern coasts. In fact, the National Changshan Institute of Science and Technology says that relevant authorities, including the Transport Ministry and Fisheries Agency, had approved these tests till September 17. Taiwan is therefore pushing China back by constantly upgrading its weaponry and testing its strength through live fire exercises. Taiwan embarked on a major military strengthening plan ever since China turned into a belligerent bully earlier this year. And Taiwan is now preparing for new age contactless warfare to repel any Chinese aggression with American help. Taiwan is buying a range of American weapons including a 620 million US dollars upgrade package for Patriot surface-to-air missiles and MK-48 Mod 6 advanced technology heavyweight torpedoes and related equipment worth 180 million US dollars. Taiwan is also looking to upgrade its indigenous Navy drones and is also in talks to purchase the Sea Guardian surveillance drones having a range of 6,000 nautical miles from the US. The defense upgrade plans are already showing effect. As recently as August 10th, for example, Taiwan had activated its land-based air defense missiles following an incursion by Chinese warplanes into the Taiwanese airspace. Ultimately, the Chinese warships were driven out by the Taiwanese Air Force. But Taipei signaled that if push comes to shove, it won't back off from missile warfare. Taiwan is winning the psychological war against Beijing. For China, its PLA wings particularly the Navy and the Air Force, are a part of its strategic coercion. By carrying out long sorties and intruding into Taiwanese airspace, Beijing wants to impose its hawkish foreign policy on Taiwan. The Chinese strategy is to use its warplanes for showing muscle and causing face-offs with Taiwan. But the PLA Air Force fighter jets aren't meant for war fighting. 
China therefore backs up its strength by non-contact warfare assets such as unmanned platforms including AI-backed combat drones and surface-to-surface -surface missiles. However, Taiwan isn't letting China have its way. Taiwan is itself investing heavily in surveillance drones, cruise missiles, air defense system and air-to-surface missiles with a single point agenda of repelling Chinese aggression. Taipei is developing tremendous non-contact warfare capabilities. The message from Taiwan to China is loud and clear. Be prepared to go back with a bloody nose if you try to invade Taiwanese territory. Therefore, even as China tries to bully Taiwan, the tiny island's growing military might is putting Beijing in its place.